The custom domain is a unique domain URL that can be used to identify and access a website. There are several advantages of using a custom domain, but the most basic are it makes your website unique and easier to remember. You can create your own subdomains. It makes monetization easier. There are unconfirmed theories that custom domains rank higher in search engine results pages. It also makes your website look more professional. Welcome to Tribe Web Tech, in this video tutorial, I am going to show you where to buy a custom domain and how to link the domain to your website. Before we begin, please like this video and leave a comment if you have questions. For this tutorial, I will be using a client site. This website is on Blogger platform, and it has a free domain name with a Blogspot extension. To change a domain name on Blogger, you simply have to go to your dashboard, click on Settings, scroll down to Publishing, and you can find your domain listed under Blog Address. If you have a custom domain, you can add it by selecting custom domain. But let's start with buying a custom domain. For this tutorial, I will be using Domain King, the link to this website can be found in the video description. Domain King is the best place to get custom domain, and you can also host your website there. I use Domain King for myself and all my clients, because they have excellent customer care service, there have over 22 domain extensions, I have not faced issues with any domain bought from them, and their domains are not expensive. You can get a custom domain for less than $3. You can research on domain names without signing up, but since I already know the domain I want, I will simply log in to begin the process of purchasing it. If you are a first-time user, you will have to create an account, link to this website can be found in this video description. Since I already have an account, I will simply click on login. Once you log in, you will be taken to your client area. This is like the dashboard of your Domain King account. Click on Register Domain, and you will be redirected to a new page where you can type in your preferred domain name. Domain King has over 50 domain extensions, so there is an endless possibility to the domain name you can use. My client has already specified the domain name he wants, so all I have to do is copy the domain name and paste it in Domain King search box. After putting the domain name, you can select the preferred extensions you would like to use. I will select popular ones like .com, .net, and .org. Once you are done, click on Lookup, and it will load information about the domain and every extension you selected. The .com extension has already been purchased, I cannot get that extension, but I can use other alternatives. .com.ng is available and it is just $2.30 for a whole year. There are other available extensions, and they all come at different prices. You can get a .NET extension for less than $15 for a whole year. You can choose to buy for more than a year. Click on the checkbox next to the extension you want to purchase and select order now. You can select multiple checkboxes if you want to buy more than one extension. On the next page, you will have to configure the domains by including the free add-ons that comes with purchasing a domain from Domain King.
Click on the add-ons checkbox to get access to DNS management which you can use for CNAME, MX, and TXT records. This add-ons are free, so you should select it. Click on continue to final checkout page. Here you can review your shopping cart and see the list of everything that you are purchasing, and the total amount you will be paying. Once you have confirmed it, scroll down and you will find various payment options, like Visa, MasterCard, Directly to Bank, and PayPal, Online Payment. Select the most convenient option, I will use Flutter Wave. If you have a promotional code, use it here and you will be given a discount. Domain King has an affiliate program, so if you use the link in the video description, you will be given a discount for your first purchase. Once you are done, click on the checkbox to agree to their terms of service. Click on complete order and you will be redirected to a secured payment gateway. On the next page you will see your payment invoice. It contains information about the domain, its price, the date which the invoice was created, and the date payment should be made. If you decide to change your payment option, you can also do that here. Click on Pay Now and you will be taken to the final payment gateway page. You can pay by filling in the required details. You can also use other options provided below. For card security, I will pause the video and resume it after completing payment. Once payment has been completed, you will be redirected back to your Domain King client area. You will have to log in again. After that you will see your payment invoice, and the status will be changed to paid. Click back to client area and you will be taken to your home page. Click on My Domains to see your list of domains. Here you get information for each domain like the registration date, the domain name, the date for next payment, and the price for next payment. Click on this little box to manage the domain. This is where we begin linking the domain to our website. Copy the domain name. Go back to your website's dashboard, click on custom domain and paste the domain there. Click on Save. You will get an error prompt because it is not a top-level domain. To fix this, simply add www before the domain name.
click on save again, and this time you will get a prompt saying your ownership of this domain has not been verified. All you have to do is go back to Domain King, scroll down. Ignore name servers for now, in my upcoming video, I will talk about changing your name server and the importance of using Cloudflare. Make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications so you will not miss the video. Scroll down, click on Domain Management, you will be taken to a new page. Scroll down, here you have to register the C names with the ones provided on your website's dashboard. Go back to your website's dashboard, carefully copy the unique alphanumeric combination without adding space. Paste it on the first box. Copy the destination and also paste it in the second box. Now click on set up logger setting, give it some seconds to work things out. it has been successfully linked. Go back to your blog's dashboard, click on save, and the custom domain name will be saved. Make sure to turn on redirect domain. Scroll down a bit and turn on HTTPS availability. Also make sure that HTTPS redirect is turned on. Now it is time to confirm if the domain name has been linked. There is an error saying the site can't be reached, but do not panic because this is normal. Linking a domain name usually takes an hour, and in some rare cases it takes more than that. During that period, your website wouldn't be accessible, even the Blogspot extension will not be accessible, because it will automatically redirect users to the custom domain that is still being linked. I will pause this video and wait for 30 minutes before trying the domain. A little longer than a few minutes late. Now the website is available. The custom domain name takes me directly to the website. Also using the Blogspot extension also redirects me back to the custom domain. The domain also has HTTPS attached to it, so users will not get security issues when visiting your website. So, this is how to buy a custom domain and link it to your blogger site. If you find the video helpful, please hit the like button, do not hesitate to ask questions in the comment section. In my next video I will talk about name servers, and also show you how to improve your website speed by changing your name servers. If you have not subscribed to my channel, do that now so you won't miss my future videos. Thanks for watching and until my next tutorial, have a great day.